Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play's Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. You'll have to excuse my voice if I sound just a little bit off. I am recovering from a bit of a cold, so my, my voice isn't quite back to where it normally is. Might even be a bit deeper. Maybe you appreciate it. Let me know in the comments. I'll try to get sick more often. That's not really true. So last time I had asked, where can I see all of this AC data that I was collecting whenever I was doing the arenas? And many of you pointed out, it is under AC design, under AC data, specifically the presets. You can see here, I have the C4621, Raven, Rummy, Dunham, Red. And as I do more and more, it would seem as if I will unlock more presets, which is pretty cool. You can just jump into trying new ones. Um, does that work if I don't actually have all the parts? Or is that exclamation point in the triangle letting me know I don't have all the parts. Uh, what does display sharing screen do? Okay, that's the game server. So that's for online purposes. If I try to use this, ah, okay. So that is what it, which makes complete sense, right? You can't use a preset if you don't have all of the parts to use it. Now I am gonna run with the same parts that I've been running the last couple of missions. They've actually been working pretty well. Um, We'll try to make it work at least. So I have the Haldeman, the BUTTA, the 70 VPM, and the P01 VTC, because obviously this means a lot to you. And then the Melander set with the crawler legs. I really want to try a Tetrapod. However, even though they're available in the parts shop, and I think I looked at this last time, you can see here, the only Tetrapod legs available to me are 313 Coem. I have 237, and I haven't done any farming off camera since we last played. So let's just dive into the next mission or sortie as they like to call them, which is investigate boss arsenal number two, 180,000 comb, infiltrate boss arsenal number two and determine why it went silent. Got a job for you, 621. The client is the Rubicon Liberation Front. Here's the briefing. The loss of the wall dealt us a heavy blow. Yet, we believe you are more than a corporate pawn. Perhaps we can even work together. I want you to investigate Baus Arsenal Number 2, a major MT factory in the Bellius region. The Baus Corporation sells to anyone, but they've been essential to maintaining our firepower. Now, their second arsenal has gone silent overnight. If it were only a comms failure, a simple check-in would do. But, well, after the Strider, more cautious voices have gained influence. This isn't our finest moment, but would appreciate your help. Yeah, they definitely didn't want to lean on me. All right. Let's dive into the next sortie. Some advice before you go, 621. Expect the unexpected. I don't know, that's a bit of a paradox. If I expect the unexpected, then the unexpected is no longer unexpected. It's simply expected. So should I expect the expected? Hmm. Something to ponder. All right. Commence mission. All right. Oh, look at this. And I'm picking up nothing. What happened here? Can I actually get... Oh, upper area limit. I haven't seen that before. All right. I was just curious to see where I could get to. Just do a quick scan. We're going to take this one a bit slowly. Since we don't seem to have any sort of time limit. Want to be on the lookout for combat logs, possibly new parts. Gotta love how I'm supposed to be just doing a random check in, but here I am just by going on the rooftop, absolutely destroying their facilities. Oh, upper area limit. Gotcha, all right. I gotta look at the cars, they're so tiny. And breakable. Yeah. 
Uh oh. Unknown craft. Yeah, where is it even shooting from? Whoa, what? Okay, well, I'll just go ahead and destroy it if that works. Mm, I doubt he was alone. Continue the investigation. All right, let's just uh, keep looking for those shots, I guess. That encryption and camouflage is going to make things a bit tricky, I would imagine. It's got you in its sights. That's all right. Good. Good. Six to one. I think there's more than one this time. Do you? Use your scanner. Mark your targets to undermine their tricks. I don't know how to mark my targets. I did see. Okay, so scanning actually allows me to see these. Oh, is that a whip? Stay close. Stay close. Excellent. Do you like the shotgun? Wasn't there a limit over here? Wasn't there a boundary? All right, let's scan. Yep, there we go. According to the blueprint, there's a massive water reservoir Unaware. inside the arsenal. Oh. See, I told you to expect the unexpected. Did I get that one? I did. All right. We might need to get closer and scan. There we go. Okay, that was really, really bad timing on my melee. Oh, there are multiple here. Where have you gone? Hopefully that lands. Good. Still another one, right? All right. Thought so. Where else should I be checking? Am I going up or am I going further into the facility? Did I just see another one? Up, just send those plasma missiles at him. Which apparently was not the right move, considering I think they hit some upper limit. Alright. This is like riding a bike. Very, very heavily armored heavy bike. What is a coral response? No doubt about it. This water. It contains faint traces of coral. It must have been an underground vein. Mouse was hiding a well all this time. What would you like me to do about it? How far but Oh, you're just dropping some nastiness. Three of them. No. Excellent. Pick them off one by one, 
Oh, you have one of those nasty shields that I wish I had that interrupter. I forget what it's called. Okay, good. A real, okay. I suppose that makes sense. Take care of the uh, the lower ones. Although he's almost dead. Where'd you go? Okay, yeah, I'm ricocheting. What is he doing? That cannot be good. Almost got him. I'm completely disregarding what my handler just said. Got him. However, I gotta find the others. Are they all up above? And it seems that way, huh? Oh, yep. Uh oh. Time to move. Time to move. Okay, that one's down. Okay, just get up nice and close so I can scan. Oh, abandon, abandon, back up, back up. Gotta get that energy back. Oh, behind me now? Where have you gone? Heal up. You gonna fall? Okay, you're taken care of. Good. One or two more. One or two more. Way up there. Oh, just one. Good. Now let's get up into the... Oh. That scan was not enough. That's alright. Just get the scan back. Wait for it. Be patient. Fall down. Oh, he was very well protected. All right, is this going to be enough to hit? Oh, you moved. So no. Okay, please hit. Please hit. Oh, this is this is such a bad setup. Oh, we got him. Fall down. Okay, not my finest emissions, but seems that's the last of them. This wasn't a simple check-in after all. Head back and rest up, six two one. Okay, so those vertical missiles, not always the best choice. How do we do? 123,000. Yeah, big ammo costs. Feels like I wasn't supposed to hear that conversation. One new message. I 
I see your back, 621. About the coral well that was found at Baus Arsenal number two. That was just a drip coming from an underground vein, and it won't last long. It's not the coral we're searching for. One more thing. I've sent you your next job. This one isn't from the corpse or the Liberation Front. You'll see when you check the briefing. Okay, nothing new unlocked. Let's take a look at the sortie. We are going to go by the tetrapod legs, by the way, but this is attack the watch point, 380,000 comb, eliminate the SG squad in the watch point, and destroy the device in the control center at the heart of the complex. Ooh, concludes the chapter. Does that mean there'll be a boss in it? I think quite possibly. Let's ooh, not sell. I don't need to actually sell. We are going to buy. I want to buy the tetrapod legs. 313,000. Let's do it. And let's go ahead and throw that on. Okay, so what changes? Our weight goes way, way up. We are no longer considered lightweight. 316,000, excuse me, 31,600 compared to 16,300. EN load is way higher as well. Okay, so what do we want to match with this? This model focuses on mobility to enable hovering based fire support. Probably don't really want close range if I'm going to be hovering a lot. Now I know, by the way, the game has now been updated and they did buff a few of the weapons. I think some of the lower early weapons like the assault rifle. Um, and then they also nerfed some of the bosses. Bosses I haven't seen yet. So unfortunately, much like in Elden Ring when they nerfed Radon, I had not yet fought Radon. And so they've already nerfed bosses I didn't have a chance to play around with. So I think we'll go with the Turner. And do we want to stick? I definitely want the laser blade. I like the laser blade. Or do we want the pulse blade? Oh, see, the pulse blade would have been good. Oh, wait, I was using the pulse blade. And that's supposed to cancel out pulse defenses. Didn't seem to work all that well. Plasma missile launcher. And the, wait, do I have assault rifle and, hold on, assault rifle, right arm, and assault rifle, right back? Is that, is that right? Is that really what I had? Oh, look, I even had a pulse gun I could have bought. Whoops. This is my right back unit. Wait a second, wait a second. How do I... How do I switch? Because right now, I think I'm looking at the alternatives here. Because you can see there the the two there's two different blocks that I'm looking at and I don't remember how to switch hmm oh I see I see I see okay now so what I'm doing is I had accidentally hit it twice if you hit R1 or L1 while you're on it it will automatically switch to so you can use your main weapons on your back. Right, right, right. So that's my plasma missile launcher. That's already equipped. Then the left back, I have the vertical missile launcher. I think I'll actually leave those the same. But I want to take a look at my FCS. Because that was, I picked the one for short range. And I want to focus more on medium range. So medium range, the best one's going to be this one right here. And do I need a new generator? I'm not sure. I think I'm actually okay with that existing one. Okay. Yeah, we'll uh we'll work on that. Also, I completely forgot about this. In fact, I don't even remember how to use it. L3 plus something else. Uh-oh. I might have to play around with that just in the field, but I think I can only use it one time. Alright. Let's jump right into the next one. See if we can get this attack the watch point completed. flow 
resolve coral. Now it serves to monitor the dormant veins. I want you to attack it. Your objective will be to destroy the sensor valve at its core. The watch point is kept secure by SG, the planetside PCA force, which means it's too hot for the corporations to be seen there. In other words, we're flying strictly solo on this one. I'd be very surprised if there was no boss in this mission, considering what we're attacking. All right, let's uh, let's give it a shot with our new tetrapod legs. You'll be going in under cover of darkness. Be ready for anything. I want to say the assault armor is L3 and triangle, but I'm afraid to test it only because. Oh, we actually get an opening cutscene. Only because I, I can only use it once. Yeah, it's because it's a terrible idea. Get in there and get to work. Main system activating combat mode. Leave no evidence. If anyone sees you, handle it. Code one five. Intruder sighted. Just one eight. Oh goodness gracious, that's a lot going on already. Oh my! Yeah, we um we can't be taking those direct hits anymore. Wow. Okay. Yep, yeah, I'm trying not to use my repair kits just yet. Oh, missed my mark there. Can I use my melee to get up there? I guess that's already destroyed, huh? I'm already apparently forgetting how to even use the tetrapod legs. Oh, that's right, you double tap. Just like that, aha, okay. Wish I didn't just take that direct hit again. Oh, that is so fun. And at any point, I just tap to go right back into hover. That is amazing. But I'm gonna have to heal. No repair kits remaining. That was awful. Where did that AC come from? What happened to the patrol squad? Oh my. Code one eight. All units deploy for combat. Yep, they were a little bit more prepared than we'd hoped. Keep moving or they'll shoot you down. Yep, I'm aware of that. Okay, skirt around, skirt around, you're destroyed, good, good. Updating your marker data. Proceed in the direction indicated. Uh yes, sir. About to die, sir. I don't think I optimize this at all. I still hardly know what I'm doing. You see that? That's the watch points control center. Okay. Targets inside. Make your way in. Yeah, that that's where the boss is gonna be, right in that big arena. <laughs> okay. Still quick scan, see if there's anything waiting for me. 
because this just seems like a terrible idea to just rush, doesn't it? All right. Okay. Let's get some get some shots going. I don't have much ammo or uh, energy left. Missed. Good. Perfect. Okay, vertical, go, 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 go. Alright, I want to save up some energy and go for a melee. Oh, where is he? <laughs> Okay. Well, I am gonna die here. That that much is clear. Wow. Done about half. Let's give another shot, as is. I assume that's gonna be a checkpoint, so I can just go right back to the boss fight, yeah? Can we skip this now? Yes, we can. Okay, back up, back up. Okay, drop, drop, drop. That seemed like a good sneak attack. ACS load limit. Could have gotten some more direct hits on that. See, the thing is, I keep hovering, but I'm hovering barely off the ground, so it's almost like it's not, it's not doing anything. All right, those Paul. Let's try the, uh, let's see if that arm, oh my goodness. Nope, that was not what I wanted. All right, let's heal. Whoa. Yeah, what's the point of hovering when it's pretty much just me on the ground anyway? <laughs> Alright. Yep, yeah, that's going to be a lot of direct hits if he actually gets any damage off. Luckily he didn't. Good damage. Really good damage. All that direct hit. Oh man, I used my assault armor and I missed. Walter. Gotta love the melee finishes. Love the little tetrapod legs. I must need more energy and maybe something to reduce the cost of energy on my dodges. Otherwise, I just need to learn how to use uh, the tetrapod better. Uh oh. If it's asking me to supply now and I just killed Sulla, I can't be good.
Is that is that not what I'm supposed to be doing? I guess I guess not. I have to actually drop down. No. Easy enough. And should I leave? <laughs> Something tells me that's not an option. Wait, no. Six two one, get out of there. Who are you? An older type of augmented human. Fourth generation. Have we... made contact? I am Air, a Rubiconian. Please, you must wake up. Before your consciousness... is forever scattered in the coral flow. Identified an approaching enemy. I'll synchronize with your brainwaves and maintain contact to support you. What in the world? Main system reactivating combat mode. What? What? It's an autonomous PCA craft. Goodness gracious. Wow. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I did not bring my uh, my pulse-destroying gun. Although... Okay, my assault armor did okay. That was decent damage. Holy cow. Wow. Yep, I'm gonna have to heal again. Okay, dodge. Get some energy back. Lots of missiles incoming. Let's try to get in there with my melee. Back up, back up. Yikes. We almost have his shield down again. Oh, we're in trouble. Back up, back up. I mean, I don't see us winning it this first attempt. However, this is one of those bosses that I know got nerfed, so... Whoa! Not a terrible attempt, though. We got him down to about a quarter. Now, I know the comments are going to be filled with, Well, you didn't kill Baltius before the nerf, and it's true, I didn't. I, I did not get a chance to, but I'm not too disappointed with that performance. And I'm actually gonna go in with the exact same. 
Okay. What I need, though, is I really need to focus on melee to break the... Oh, jeez. Break that shield. Okay, let's start. Make my way up. Where is he? Wow, AP is already at 50%, though. That's a... Oh! Let's get up there. Close it. Okay, gonna get some good direct damage going. Oh! That was, that was really not good. Ooh, I didn't realize my health was so low. Paul Summers back up. Where are you? Good hit, good hit. Well, he didn't take <laughs> as much heavy damage as he did last time. Now, oh, where are you? This is not going to be the successful attempt, is it? Definitely not. I don't even know where he is. Ah, oh, wow. Not even to half this time. All right, let's give that one more go for this episode, and then we might have to come back to it. Although, maybe I should throw on the pulse gun. And see how good that does. So let's see. what That was just the back unit, right? Or I guess it was the left back unit? Ah, okay. I have to swap it out. So, are we going to swap out the... Right now I have the vertical missile. Let's keep the vertical missile. Let's actually put it on our right back. There we go. And do we want to keep the assault rifle? Probably not. Maybe do we want the machine gun? I mean, if I focus on just getting a shield down and then just use something crazy high damage. Could go with the plasma. Let's try the plasma rifle. What is the effective range on that? 430. I think that's considered long range. Let's try. The, let's check the FCS. Um, long range, anything beyond 260. But I have to be more than 260. That actually has the best long range, anyway. So okay, we'll give it a shot. Cannot sortie due to Ian shortfall. Oh, okay. All right. Did not realize that. Um. And the generator won't fix it. I'd have to probably change. I mean, that would reduce it. But not by much. Yeah, none of these really reduce it by all that much. Hmm. I might not be able to use this effectively. Or is it because... The plasma rifle actually has a pretty significant EN load, doesn't it? It does. Hmm. I might have to play around with this some more. Yeah, because that, that has the highest EN capacity, so that generator is not going to really make much of a difference. Oh, boy. 
I mean, the the tetrapod is just. I think I have to get rid of the tetrapod legs. I don't think I have the the parts necessary to make that appropriate. So I think if I just go to, do I want to go with the reverse joint? Let's just go. We'll go with the bipedal reverse joint. We're gonna give this a go. Last last attempt, and then we'll try it again next time if need be. Unless this, this is the successful attempt. I don't know how this one works, though. Uh, that didn't seem that great. Yeah, I have to get pretty close, I think. I do like the maneuverability of this, I do. That uh, does a pretty good job. That is pretty fantastic. Oh, his shield's back. Okay. Oh, ow. Big hit. Okay, start taking out his shield again. That can't be good. And indeed it's not. Okay, good, good. Unload everything. Well, you like to say that. Okay, pulse shield is back. Immediately start in with the pulse gun again. Keep moving, keep moving. Good. Where are you? Where are you? Come on, let me get the melee off. Oh my word. Okay, pulse gun activated. I don't see this working just yet, but that's all right. We're learning the battle. Good, glad we got off the ground for that. This looks a little terrifying. Oh, and I'm out of my pulse. That's unfortunate, and I just completely missed. Yeah. ACS anomaly. I don't know what that means. AP at 30%. Oh, gosh. Well, Baltius, you certainly live to see another day. Well, I don't. <laughs> okay, I need to rethink some things. Obviously, I need to re-familiarize myself with uh, the, the different mechanics here. It's been a few days since I've last played. Um, when an enemy is close to being staggered, make sure your weapons aren't about to reload or overheat. Yeah, I think I need to focus better on that. And I also need to understand better how to... I'm actually going to just uh, quit the mission altogether. But I better. I need to better understand the mechanic of taking something off of my back... Because it looks like I need to switch the weapons in between the, the pulse rifle and the laser rifle I was just using. But 
I will, uh, I'll try to do some of that in the meantime. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. And um, again, sorry I didn't get to fight the pre-nerf Baltius, but I will see you next time.